Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Urban Empire episode 5 for the series last time we left off. Uh, we talked a little bit about things that we needed to do. The biggest of those is getting infrastructure caught back up to where it needs to be. Lots of places lagging behind on basic necessities like lighting and water. Yeah, not too good. Waiting to see if my monthly budget balance is going to even stable out because it certainly doesn't look like it. I had this up pretty high, but I clearly lost it. Yes, I absolutely support LLCs. And so, so does a lot of people. Cool. Limited liability companies are awesome. I would know because I own one. And it's lots of approval there, so that's good. City happiness still down low. I'm going to go in the hole for this, but... I need to upgrade some of these infrastructures. Which one? What do we got here? Gas. We need water. We need electric. Electric power grid, but it's gas. If I click on this, boost companies, okay. Okay, that boosts companies too, actually. So, what's this do again? Boost companies, okay. So, actually, going into here, we should add water here. We have to do this. I can't believe people are actually some against installing water. Clean water, mind you. Hoping the creation of limited liability companies will help us out. Okay, we're gonna go for the telephone next. And health issues. Many residents of Rome have poor health. What to do? Provide more funding for hospitals. Schools should have more health education. People should exercise more. Well, people should definitely exercise more. That's okay. I don't care if it only affects the younger generation. As they say, take care of the youth today. Or you will have... No youth for tomorrow? Oh, I don't remember the saying now. Oh, it's bugging me. What is it? I think uh, if you can't protect the youth of today, then you have no tomorrow. Society has become so complex that only educating the elite no longer seems to be enough. Who would have guessed? But the more education regular people receive, the more they also seem to demand a say in their everyday matters. Representation rights are a hot topic and your city administration is trying to predict the questions they should have an answer to they arise. Oh, excuse me, I'm super uh, tired. Long day at work. That's funny. Has it become more educated? They also seem to want to have a say. Who would have guessed? Um, one is negative aggression. Employers may threaten workers who vote for a disfavored candidate. Of course, votes should be in secret. I'm 100% for that. Women should have a say as well. Of course they should. It's important that only enlightened people vote. Well, yeah, that's super right. That's, I guess, middle, liberal, left, um, liberal, right. I don't agree that that's liberal, left, since when have... Ah, whatever. Women should have a say as well. Um, I mean, yes, I agree with all of these, except for it's important that only enlightened people vote. Well, actually, that is kind of important. No, I know. I... We'll just go with uh, votes should be secret. 
yeah, voting should definitely be done by secret ballot. I mean, you shouldn't be able to, you know, if somebody wants to keep it a secret who they voted for, then that's their right. Okay, environment doing better. We can see everything's kind of balancing out. Happiness is not that great, but other than that, we're not doing too bad. Monthly budget balance is uh, starting to tank on us a little bit, but we're just going to go for the modifying the district first. We know that's going to get through. People not voting for it probably because we don't really have the funding to support it, as you can see. Oh, okay, good. They changed their minds. I guess they all support it now. As I would hope they would. Okay, now we're just waiting for limited liability companies to go through. Um, but yes, this is getting really bad. We need to propose a tax right now. I don't really want to do this, but... Sorry, citizens. But you're going to give me more taxes. And we're just going to continue to go bankrupt until we get them. You know, what's really upsetting with this game is that other than like raising taxes, there seems to be no other way to earn income. You know, and then companies and stuff too, but I mean, there's really nothing else. The Free Democratic Party has come up with an unpopular proposal of cutting school funding. With the current economic situation, difficult decisions may become necessary, necessary so will you support the proposal? Uh, no, but the council should decide. No, definitely not. No, keep funding going. We're going to be okay. We're going to be all right. We should definitely not be cutting funding. Raise the taxes. Keep the children thinking in school. Smart. Smart is good. There we go. The Socratic Party wins the elections again. Good. Vote to modify the taxes. We're pretty much all for it. So let's get it through here. Get these taxes uh, going. So we can fix this economy. I had to get water. There was no other way. We should see that come in the, to effect. There we go. Wow, what the heck? What is eating all my money? Oh, yes, of course. Right to form associations proposed in Congress. Come on, this has to be a bug. There's no way that my monthly budget just keeps dropping like that for no reason. It just doesn't make sense. Where And I can't see where I'm hemorrhaging my money because as far as I can tell, I can't actually look at the running costs unless I go into city data. And even then, this is income. City expenses. The administration still spending the same. Everything's still spending the same. Infrastructure. It's infrastructure that's eating all of my money. I'm going to have to tear something down somewhere. What do I have here? Do I have... Can I not tear down infrastructure once I have it? Oh, boy. I guess you can't necessarily tear down infrastructure once you've got it up. I'm just going to have to keep hemorrhaging money. I don't know. I can cut back funding on it. It's just I can't believe that this is turning into this ridiculous. All right. As your city uh, is being connected to the national telephone network, you need to decide how Rome will handle the issue. Do you make sure it boosts safety? Make sure it enlightens people? Make sure services become better? Make sure services become better. Okay, right to a form associations. Wow, that's going to be kind of close. 
There we go. That should do it. Wow, it's neck and neck. Wow. Good. Lots of stuff came into effect there. Uh, legalization, of course, citizens' right to form associations, limited liability companies, begin voting. Good. Hopefully that helps the economy. Forming companies easier than ever, introducing limited liability companies. Well, let's not be too unrealistic. Limited liability, com li uh, limited liability companies are still difficult to form. But yeah, definitely not as uh, difficult as corporations. What the heck? Can we please stop hemorrhaging money? I don't want to have to keep raising taxes just to watch it keep doing this. That's the thing that's confusing me is it's all going somewhere, but I don't see anything that's really increasing. Still 105k, district's 39.7, and everything else is still the same. So how is this dropping like that? Let's wait and see if it changes a little bit. We'll see. Not by a lot, but it is still dropping. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Eighty-four, that's better. Maybe some companies starting to form up. C three, that's better. We might still see this balance out yet. We have a high demand for residential right now, so that might be some of our problem too. People looking for places to live. Maybe it is a good idea to get another district up and running. I know we don't necessarily have the money. However, I do think that it's a good idea. Okay, all these roads are going to be offset or something? I can't. There we go. I want the roads to at least be connected. If that's the best I can do, then so be it. I can build it with my own personal funds. Um, industry demand and commercial demand is pretty low, especially commercial. Why is the heck can I? So we know residential is the highest. We could drop commercial to five, residential to 70, 20. Okay. I'm not going to put any services or anything yet. Um, yeah, use personal funds. Just build it. It's, we're going to lose a lot of money off the bat, but I'm hoping it'll bounce us back as people move in and pay taxes. I got to imagine our biggest problem right now is that we don't actually have a lot. Of, I mean, we have a high residential command. Oh. In other words, had you been living in 1850... You could have sat in the bathtub for 25 years without having to answer the phone. That's funny. Um, yeah, we have a high residential demand, which I guess is uh, kind of uh, symbolizing that we really need. Yeah, let's go for that. We need more housing, and more housing means more citizens. More citizens means... More people paying taxes. You can see houses going up right now and the monthly budget's already starting to balance itself out. But I need to see that go in the positives. And I'm probably going to go ahead and raise residential income, unfortunately. 
A new councillor, Carl Ziegler, from the Young Swearlian Party has caused a problem to the council. Every now, new councillor must swear an oath of allegiance by God, but Ziegler has refused an, on account of being an atheist. He is demanding an oath that doesn't involve God. As the mayor, you can decide if the council can let him have a different oath. Sure. Really wondering how much it's going to balance itself out. Oh boy. Where's my industrial tax? I just can't touch it now. Work Safety Act. Bonus security, sales demand plus 5%. It seems like a good bill. Is anybody interested? Yeah. Let's go ahead and get the Work Safety Act passed. That seems like a good idea. Is there any other edicts I could pass that'll help us out? Maybe that's a lot of my problems. I'm not passing any edicts to help us. So that was business. We don't want that. Loading band wins rights to school elections, lower class barriers. We're not going to touch any of this right now. Ban prostitution, regulate gambling, ban gambling. If I regulate it, can I tax it? Wow. Wow, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Uh, free fire brigade. I'm looking for things that are going to help us income wise. And things that are not going to cause us more money than we're already taxing. I could probably reduce funding on some of this I hate to do this but it looks like everybody's for it so I'll do it just for the sake of balancing that budget we can see it already starting to come around a little bit as businesses and people move in so that's a good sign Finally, we might actually start paying off some of that debt. Psychratic Party wins again. The Work Safety Act. Let's go ahead and vote that in. That's going to help businesses. Or at least people working for businesses. And I believe it does. It helps security for industrial complexes. But sales demand goes up 5% if I'm reading this correctly for some things. We'll see if it helps or hurts. But we're voting on the funding change anyways. I know this is going to help. Alright. Here we go. Bringing money back around. Good. That makes me happy. It's nice. Perfect. So we're going to hurry up and pull out of this, this uh, deficit we've got here. Once we do that, we'll build up a nice stash of uh, money and we'll use it to... Um, if we've got enough money coming in, we'll use it to maybe re-fund re, uh, some of the things that we took down. I think the security and whatnot uh, came down. The recent inventions in machinery and power systems are spreading around the world like never before. The city administration understands how important the principles of hydraulics are. How should this understanding be put to use? Make sure the topic is taught in schools. To make sure it's used better in public services, city administrators should understand it better. Should be taught in schools. That's pretty important. So get plus one to personal growth in high school. The Social Democratic Party's demanded free public transport 
transport for workers. The party wants the council to vote on it. I can't really, to be honest with you, I can't really afford that. 5% increase. I want to ridicule you. How dare you? I'll do everything I can to make sure nobody votes that in. Because we cannot afford that right now. I'm just starting to finally pull us out of debt. You have done your best, but the marriage remains childless. However, you are you are the kind of man who never gives up, and you have made a decision. If Mariah can't bear you a child, someone else must. How do you proceed? Implement your plans in silence. Ask. I'm going to ask for her consent. You propose that another woman should bear your child, and Mariah... Oh! <laughs> I... I thought I was going to send my wife somewhere to get knocked up. I didn't know that I was going to go <laughs> knock somebody else up. That's funny. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> you propose that another woman should bear your child and Mariah will pretend to be its mother. However, your suggestion distresses her terribly and she refuses to consent. But a Von Pilfser must do what a Von Pilfser Pilfsen must do. So you secretly begin preparations. <laughs> <sighs> Of course she's not going to be happy with it. No, she's not going to be happy with it. I'm her husband. I'm asking her if I could go... Knock up another woman. It is hereby proposed that all citizens deserve a safe working environment, free of lethal hazards. This would improve our citizen security and health, but it might put a strain on our companies. Um... I'm gonna say I'm gonna support that. I think that's important. Especially because I'm gonna kick the front door in on free transportation. Totally oppose that. Residential demand's still nice and up there. We're almost out of debt. However, we are at the end of this episode. So slowly pulling ourselves out here, which is really good. Look at that, city happiness. Security, everything's on the up and up. This is probably the best, other than the negative uh, and the debt that we've accrued here. Uh, we're looking pretty good monthly budget balance wise. So I think we're going to pull out of that really soon. And then we're going to be in a really, really good spot. Building this other district was a good idea. So uh, next time, maybe we'll look to build another district at some point maybe not maybe we'll hold off just a little bit but we'll definitely look to refund some of our areas and then continue upgrading infrastructure however i want to thank you guys for joining me i do hope that you enjoyed this episode and i look forward to seeing you next time